Yeah, yeah. That, um, they um, put a pair to the boundary and overload it. They just had more people into the boundaries than we did. And we had a halftime adjustment, and then after that, it was, it was over. Was that you who knocked the ball loose? Yes, yeah, sir. Was that, it looked deliberate that you were just trying to punch the ball out? Well, I stripped it, it came loose a little bit, and I finished popping it out. So that's kind of what you guys did today. Was, uh, you gave up some yards, but then you made big defensive stops when you had to. Yes, sir. After um, all it was was that adjustment at halftime. After we made that, every, everything else just fall, fall back in place, and we can play fast, and everybody was really supposed to be after that. I, what was the move there when I, before that Indiana State pulled out looking like they had a chance to score a touchdown before for that play? How much nervous and anxiety was there on the sideline? We, our, our defense was starting to get gas. I ran that kick back and then had to go right back and they drove the whole field on us. We, were, we, we knew we had to get off the field and make a play. Does it feel like a stretch of the season now with Indiana State and Southern Illinois? Does it feel like it's going to be the defining stretch of this team's season? Definitely. Um, Coach Parley made us aware of that before um, this stretch started that we got to have the toughest part of the um, schedule coming up, so we've got to put our head down and keep hammering away. Was this a sort of game you expected? It really seemed like it was a really physical, kind of black and blue division sort of game. Was that what everyone expected? No, Indiana State, they, they're, they're quite different from last time we played them. They, they spread it out and threw a lot more. This year they have that amazing running back, so it was, they, they want to keep the ball on the ground, so it was kind of more of a Pound the rock kind of game like North Dakota State. Can you give us a lead right on the impact of Bell going out? Did you have like 140 yards against Ding? And he's done. Well, how much did that change things? He was a, he was a great back. He was, he's so small, like you can't tackle him up high because he just shake his shoulder and you had to go for his legs and he was quick getting to the edge. So he, he, it, was, it was a challenge trying to get uh, tackle him. Who's that this? Get this thing out of here. Any more questions for LJ? Right, We've been joined by uh, Ben Boothby and uh, Terrell Rennie. Go ahead with your questions, Ben. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. We're going to call Slim. What, do you? I don't want to be so tough. <laughs> <laughs> I do smell very bad when you smell that bad. That's nothing new. Ben, the defense had a big, big play. <coughs> big play. Let's talk about what the effort there on that side of the ball. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, defense. Uh, first half, you know, we gave you know, uh, some big runs. Went at halftime and, you know, made some you know, big adjustments. You know, all thanks to the coaching staff. You know, the, you know, they're the best in the league. And uh, we came out in the second half and really shut down the run. And, you know, had some big plays ourselves. So, I mean, any type of situation like that where they're, you know, get us to our backs, you know, we can get the bed but not break. So, you know, that's really what we did. Second half came out and just smacked in the mouth. Trent, what do you think? Uh, what was Indiana State's defense doing that slowed you guys down? <laughs> First of all, I have to give them all kudos. You know, they they were okay in this game, ranked 17, and I don't think they played. Their defense did not play like they were ranked 17th in the nation. You know, uh, defensively, they just, they they did good at the line of strength. They got penetration when they needed penetration. They didn't give us as much time as we expected. But um, our whole line held their own come second half, and um, we made adjustments. Um, in the first half, they, they did things that we didn't think they were going to do. Second half, we saw what they were doing, and we adjusted to them. But uh, as far as our defense in general, they, they did a stellar job. Well, the way the defense has played today, this game kind of lacked the big plays, but uh, when you guys needed it most, you were able to find uh, Sinkfield for that kind of knockout punch for the touchdown. What, what was going through your mind when you that touchdown? Well, at first, I was, I was going through the, our offensively, we knew we had to give our defense a break. You know, they played a phenomenal game. You know, they held them down in the red zone a couple of times and got two turnovers. You know, they, they our defense is just playing up to them. They're not even at their full potential, neither of the offense. But uh, we had to get them back, get get something going. But uh, as far as the connection between me and Singfield, we we were talking the whole game, saying let's take a shot, let's take a shot, because their DBs were pressing us. They they jumped the bubbles because we did a lot of bubbles the week before, and we just knew we had to go over the top. So uh, um, that 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 game, that that throw to Singfield was a, a big change in the game for us, and uh, we needed that cushion, and our defense needed that cushion. 
It doesn't seem like you had a clean snap on that. Oh, man. <laughs> One of the guys uh, on the sideline, we were trying to be, be funny, but they said if I wasn't as athletic as I was, I wouldn't be able to snag that one. But it, it jumped all the way over here. And, you don't even know what one of those was going through my mind. I was jumping over here. I went to get this ball. I saw the linebacker blitz, and I said, yeah, this isn't going to work. <laughs> and then I just threw it. I, I knew he was going to be open, and I just put him where it needed to be. But, you know, that's what I, sometimes it is. I always going to be pretty with what you're going to do after at the front of you. Ben, as the game went along and it remained a low scoring game, it become more and more apparent to the defense that you guys might have to make a really big play. I mean, you always have to make big plays any game, but today in particular, did it seem like you had a step price to the game? Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. It's a, it's a lot different compared to the you know, last couple of weeks. You know, just blow the teams out. Um, you know, we had a lot of turnovers the last couple of weeks, only a couple of today, but I mean, definitely the low-scoring games, you know, you really just got to, uh, you know, push it as hard as you can to limit every play. I know I was both gas out there, but, you know, I just got to keep going hard every single down, every single snap, and, you know, uh, especially going to the half, you know, we had to come up with a big play, and, you know, they missed the, they missed the kick, but, and it put us up 10-9 going into the halftime, and, you know, that's what I said earlier, we made some big adjustments, and that really is what helped us uh, through the second half as well. What was it like trying to tackle a number 22? That looked like a pretty slippery guy. Well, he was pretty good. Number nine was, you know, he was a good power back too. Uh, he would definitely hit the holes a little harder. Um, but, you know, 22, kudos to him. You know, he's a good running back, and I hope him the best the rest of the season. Well, you know, number two in the country, throw, you know, you're going to take everybody's best shots every week. Regardless of the ranking. Honestly, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to have it any other way. You know, uh, being number two in the nation, you know, puts a big target on the back. But at the same time, we embrace that target and we take on the challenge and we're not afraid to come our back against the wall and come out swinging. And uh, if tonight it proves that our defense will come through for us, because just like our defense came through for us, there will come a time, hopefully we don't want it to be this way, but there will come a time where we have to put up the point to stop somebody else. And, you know, this team is, it's not a team, we're a family. And, you know, the family will quit, quit. and uh, that's how I move on for this whole season. Along those lines, man, what does it say about this team that the test is maybe the execution wasn't always there, penalties, but you still won by 14. Oh, you know, definitely it just it shows up what kind of team we really are. Um, I think it's a lot different from last year's team. Even though we have relatively the same guys back, um, I think it just really shows us that uh, we're competitors and, you know, we're here to win. And uh, I know last year we, we couldn't finish in the fourth quarter, but uh, uh, this year definitely um, I think we just have a different mentality out there as a defensive unit, especially just as a team as a whole. You know, we're more of a family this year, and uh, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes you know, to win. If uh, guys, you know, they're, they're gassed and they want to come out, they stay in. Uh, you know, they have to get their, their extra snap or, you know, have to make an extra block downfield. You know, they'll do whatever they have to do just to, uh, you know, really push through and, you know, come out with a W. Thank you, guys. Coach Barley is up next.